favourite people in the world is Dave Rubin. The Rubin Report is on YouTube and Rumble and lots of different places, but more importantly, we get a chance to talk to him each and every week. Dave Rubin, good morning, good evening, g'day. Lovely to see you. Paul, always good to see you. I am fired up today, so let's roll. Let's talk here about your mate and mine, the greatest president of all time, Joseph R. Biden. So he has decided that MSNBC is the only place that he's ever going to do TV interviews. Uh, he did one recently, and at the end of the interview, this is not like a guy who hasn't been interviewed before, where you sit there, wait, they throw to the break. This is what happened. Free America, whether they voted for me or not. Well, and, and the ones that didn't vote for your bills, but run on them. The, That's the, right. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. I appreciate it's great it. to have you. It's thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. It's a very exciting day around here. Um, we'll have reaction and analysis to everything we just heard. Seriously, he just gets up and walks off, Dave. Paul, the man truly does not know where he is. It's one thing to get confused when you're speaking. It's one thing to slur a little bit. It's one thing to forget the ambassador to India's name or whatever it might be. It's another thing, after being in this business for about 50 years, to get up as they are cutting to commercial break. And you can see Nicole Wallace, like, mm. she's just dying inside. And also, just that puttering way he walks like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> and my God, if this was Donald Trump stumbling and bumbling off a TV set, they would have called for the 25th Amendment already. But it's old Joe. He's a gingerly loving grandfather. That's what he is, apparently. But also, uh, you know, the RNC put out a spectacular uh, comparison video between, you know, uh, Trump at the UFC and Biden banging around in a beach. Now, again, even the ladies of The View could not tell us that this man is, uh, you know, sprightly and across it. The only reason he is propped up is because the assumption is he's the guy who can beat Trump. The only reason that they will put up with this endless embarrassment. Like, you're watching with the NATO leaders and, you know, the American president's supposed to have a certain swagger. This bloke doesn't have a certain swagger. He has, uh, well, a shuffle at best. Well, we're sort of at the stage of this presidency where everyone kind of knows it's a farce, even the Democrats, even Corinne Jean-Pierre <laughs> and the people that are running cover for him all day. But it's kind of like at the end of, a, of like a tech company when they've, you know, they were worth four billion and then the next day they're worth negative six dollars. <laughs> and then there's some guy like ripping the copper out of the walls. Just like, what can we take from this place? That's really what they're doing with Biden. They are just trying to ride him as long as they can with the hope and prayer that he can get them into office just one more time. And then, of course, they'll replace him. There is simply no way that the guy can do four more years after a year and a half of campaigning or whatever he's going to do to get there. But I, I still, I said it at the beginning, you can watch my videos from the day he was elected. I never felt he would finish the term, that, that the cognitive breakdown would be too far. And I still think between Gavin Newsom... Uh, between some of the momentum that RFK Jr. has, not that he's going to be the Democrat nominee because they, they just won't allow that. But there's enough voices out there that they're just they're just waiting. I mean, look, anything can happen. Paul, oh, let's not forget, it was just, what, two, three weeks ago, Biden took that, that big spill on stage, fell. It's like we're one broken hip away from President Kamala Harris, and uh, that, should, that should worry everybody, whether you are on our side of the political aisle or not. Now, again, we all misspeak, but uh, none of us are the president of the United States, alas. Uh, but um, the fact that he couldn't remember that the war that is currently playing out uh, and that is the major focus, that is literally depleting the United States of ammunition right now, good to tell China that, isn't it, is, of course, the war in Ukraine. But when he was talking to reporters, he was still talking about Iraq. Putin may circle Kyiv with tanks, but it'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. Whether or not would they pull him back from Fallujah and the, I mean, from the, the uh, Kherson. You know, we're dealing with it for a whole second. Inflation is a worldwide problem right now because of a war in Iraq and the impact on oil and what Russia's doing. To what extent has Vladimir Putin been weakened by recent events? hard to tell, but he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. He's losing the war at home. Yeah, he's done this a couple times. Putin is losing the war in Iraq. Well, that's nice to hear, but I'm more concerned about Putin's 
uh, situation when it comes to Ukraine, because most of the time he doesn't even realize the errors or the slurs. And then, you know, look, Democrat privilege allows you to basically screw everything up and just you just keep going. So unfortunately, there is almost nothing too ludicrous that he, he could announce the nuclear codes on air and they would still <laughs> run cover for him. <laughs> Correct. What about the feminine hygiene CEO who can't possibly say woman? Paul, they are making feminine hygiene products for men. Mm. And if you can explain that to me, I will send you a bottle of the <laughs> finest scotch <laughs> that we have here in America. On the back, it says we're here for everyone who menstruates. Uh -huh. And I think especially in this age of transphobia, it really means a lot to us to be proudly a gender inclusive brand. It makes no sense. It's such pandering drivel. How do these people not realize after what has happened to Bud Light, which not only watched its, you know, Anheuser-Busch stock collapse, Bud Light was the number one beer in America. It's now not even in the top 10 as of today, not even in the top 10 beers wow. uh, after what happened to Target by going woke and then, you know, losing a ton in market share. How do these companies not realize that by doing this woke nonsense that they are they are pushing people away? But this one is particularly pernicious because it's about it's about biology. I mean, Paul, I'm not a biologist, but I guess I could Google it real quick. Men, men don't have periods, it's unless something's going on in Australia that I don't know. No, correct. But, you know, in this new, crazy, bizarre world, not only do you have to believe the opposite, uh, if you dare question it, then that becomes the problem. The fact that the CEO, because of, you know, this minute number on the side, anyway, it's ridiculous. God love you. All right, Dave Rubin, find the Rubin Report. You can find it everywhere. It's spectacular. And we'll talk to you again next week. See you, brother. See you, man.